Yo. What is up, sucker mother lovers? Oh my god, I know, I know, I know, I know. Lovers. What is up? How y'all doing? I know. Go on, you know what? Just go. I'm gonna give y'all about three seconds. Okay, seven seconds to get it all out. Okay, so now that we got out of all of it, I've been gone. I told y'all I was traveling. Then I had a storage. I had to move everything. I couldn't even get to my desk to record a video. Then anybody that's been watching me, ooh, y'all know I, my allergies and my sinuses, everything been killing me. I couldn't even breathe properly, let alone make a video. Then I had missed about a good 18,264 episodes of basketball wise. So I'm like, everybody's like, ooh, Trinity, did you see what was going on? I was like, I ain't, I ain't seen nothing. If it wasn't for the blogs, I wouldn't even know life was existing for a quick second. I'm serious, y'all. I It was just a lot going on. But I'm back. My place is back in order. Y'all may catch another dog walking around here. That's Polo the Don. I don't know if y'all can see him. That's the little... Where is he? Polo the Don. He gone. Polo. That's my new friend. Polo. You say hey? You see? That's Polo. So Polo's a little King Charles, you know, so we got to give him his little halo. Hi, hi. Sean Diesel want to say hi, too. Say hi. Say hi to the people. We back. We good. All right. So let's get right on into this season finale. Basketball Wives season four. Mm, mm, mm. Full of drama. You know what? The bad thing is that I ain't watched a lot of episodes, but I know I ain't missed much. Because guess what? Every episode is full of the same shiznit. Am I lying? Am I lying? No. But I want to first of all start off with something that's more important. I want to talk about Evelyn's outfit. When I say that it is the shiznit I needed in my life, I thought about I needed to go to the gym. Then I caught that she had a little baby gut on the side. So I was like, okay, I'm good. I can still wear that outfit because she got that gut too. Not really sure what happened to that six pack that she had when they was filming. But something happened. She been eating real good. But it don't matter. She was still looking good. So I was like, it's all right. I can be thick like that too because I got that little side bubble gut too. So ugh, I was excited. But that little outfit was the business. That little, ooh, them shoes. Them little batons and stuff. Mm, girl, I need them. I can get the little knockoff ones and I can paint the red myself. But whatever the case, loved everybody's outfit. Tammy's makeup was on point. But Tammy's makeup is always on point when they not filming. Have y'all noticed that? Her makeup and her hair is always on point. On a reunion show. Or when she's doing photo shoots. Sometimes I make up at some point on the show. But I always thought Tammy was a pretty girl anyway. So whatever. And of course I loved Evelyn's ball. Y'all know that's why I'm trying to grow my hair so I can get a bun. I love buns. Don't judge me. You don't know my life. Okay. So we already know that the fact that they're starting off Jen in the back. We already know that that means that this reunion is about to be full of drama. And you know what? I just want to say something. First off, let me see I'm doing good with time. I'm not going to be doing good with time. We already know. But... Jen's attitude is real cocky now, but I think she's just pissed off and has had enough. But I'm going to get to that a little bit along the way. But I did, like, it just seemed like every time anybody said anything, she was just real quick to snap off. And, you know, just very defensive about everything. But I haven't watched a lot of episodes, so I could have missed a lot of important things that would make her be like that. So if I have, then forgive me. Don't be writing me all no mean comments. Time. Like, you don't even know what you're talking about, Trent. See, your mama, daddy, sister, cousin, brother don't. Hmm, I said it. You can tell that it's really, really, really bothering Shawnee with this whole show and how her show has been portrayed because it's like now everybody, like people, are, I mean, he got so bad this season that people just start boycotting the show. Like when your show is just that bad where it's just full of negativity in the show, it's like, you know, why are people even watching it? But I know people like the drama, like we like the excitement, but... You got to have some type of balance. So I'm really happy that she is really trying to take a stand. And I remember last season, maybe I'm the only one, but they were talking about trying to have a balance. So I hope that this season, the fact that they're seeing that they're losing a lot of viewers, that, okay, now it's time to really like, come on, we need to do something, put some Girl Scouts in some scenes, do something. Because the whole bottle throwing, you know, you're going to die when I see you, you know, you don't know me, girl, I'm going to rip your lash weave out, all that, it's old. Like, Give us something else. And it's, it's, you know, the drama, we like it. I do. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, I'm here and Tammy was still in purses and stuff. I'm kind of like, wow, like you women, like either y'all in y'all 40s or y'all real, y'all creeping up on 40s. So at the end of the day, none of y'all should be acting like that. Like, okay, I know we, we're doing it for the entertainment, but you got to kind of, you, you got to have some type of, nah, okay, should I throw this bottle to see? Nah, I probably shouldn't throw this bottle. Maybe I'm going to throw a shoe, but, you know, I may buy a bucket somebody, but come on. Like, it just, it has to be some type of balance. Because after a while, I just look like a whole bunch of, like, black, like, ignorant women. Like, just going to put it out there. 
And I ain't gonna even get on Kenya. I'm gonna just stand by what I said. Probably like one of my first um, episode, uh, reviews of Basketball Wives with this season. Kenya is crazy as hell. I'm standing by that. I don't care. Her and her red lipstick and her good weed finally or her good wig. They're crazy. All of them. Like she retarded. The end. Am I the only one that noticed that even when Susie took a breath that she still had a lisp? Like, I was like, Susie. She was like, I was like, girl, she even lisp to sigh. Like, that's too much. Like, you breathe and you still got a lisp? That girl, that Susie. I tell you what. Mm, I still don't like her. Now, y'all know that I notice everything. And, like, so when the screen pans out or they go into the audience or whatever, I noticed the. Am I the only one that noticed that after the first break when they came back and it was panning in to them that it was security sitting at the left? Well, my right of the stage? Wait, whatever. Sitting on this side of the stage. I mean, he was just posted in his own chair. It wasn't even a nice chair. Like, it was like a folded chair. But he was sitting there in the suit, and I was like, that is terrible like y'all got to have security at the reunion show y'all got on these seven in seven inch shoes and they got to have but it's probably for the audience members because somebody probably want to throw a shoe at them but it goes to show you like after a while people they not finding this cute and i think evelyn really got a taste of that when she started getting denied these lavish hotels like you're famous your husband to be is famous and these lavish hotels that we know that at least he can afford and you because i know evelyn is banking in with this show I mean, it has to be kind of embarrassing when these hotels are saying that they do not want a part of you in this hotel because of the, the drama that you bring. Like, if nothing else, that should be a wake-up call that you need to change some stuff. For real. Like, okay, it was cute. It's not cute no more. And then somebody had emailed me and told me that Miss Evelyn is closing her store. Now, that's the tea. Now, I don't appreciate one of y'all. Somebody commented on my thing talking about, you know you made that girl close her store. I ain't make her do nothing. I just called out T where I saw T where it was under that tree. That is the tea. People needed to know the truth, girl. Your store was looking like shit on a stick. I said it. What? Still is. I'll buy some shoes out of that, though, but only if I get, like, a discount, like an 80% discount. Now I think about it. I ain't got no life like that. I ain't about that life. How about that? I mean, but at the end of the day, Ocho Cinco de Mayo and Evelyn, they could just have their wedding in his backyard. I mean, his backyard is the size of a baby country. So, I mean, it ain't like our backyards. You know, our backyards, everybody, like, bunched together. And we got, like, just some streamers around. Like, it's what we call a ghetto wedding. That will be a nice, lavish wedding. I will have a wedding in his backyard, please. Matter of fact, I thought about just going there and just unlocking the gate and just having a wedding. What you going to do? You ain't going to even know we there. Your house so big. You going to be on the wing three. We going to be on wing seven. You ain't going to even know what's happening. That's why I don't want no big house when I grow up because I would need to know who's in my house and you know you got a little house you like what was that you know what's going on but a house that big I ain't gonna be able to do it y'all Tammy's response her little apology she was like yeah how I acted my bad girl get out of here she crazy but Tammy is messy did y'all hear when she said oh no you called her loose Tammy you just so messy but I don't know I think I don't know if I would have reacted like that but I think I would have had some type of reaction if somebody was calling me loose off the goose like girl you don't know my life girl you don't know where I'm trying to go and where I'm, you know where I've been like you just worry about your little sweet dreams videos on YouTube and I'm gonna worry about who I'm trying to bang to get on top I'm just saying am I the only one that caught on that when Evelyn was about to uh <laughs> What she say when she was saying she was gonna give a two to the dome? Was I the only one that noticed that she was like, "Oh, I won't do it." Sipped her drink and then went over there to commence to whooping her assets. I was like, "Wow, that's some hood shit right there." Like, that's some I would do. I may, I may take a sip before I knock somebody out too. I mean, in my old days, I ain't like that no more. But back in the day, I just might do that too. Be like, "Girl, hope, girl, you don't know me." Blow, put the drink down, boom. I think sometimes that the reality sets in when these ladies see themselves on TV. Because when Evelyn was about to cry, like when she was saying that her stepdaughters were in the car, it was kind of like, I'm glad that you see that you need to set better examples. Because if they thinking that this is cool, like, look, my stepmama can throw bottles and she can make, you know, $100,000, maybe I can do it too. See, that's that's a bad example. Very, very bad example. But when she was about to cry, did y'all hear Messy um, host John go talk about, you want some tissue? Like, he's so messy. Like, he's just waiting on some stuff to happen. He is just messy Betty is what we're going to call him. Little messy Betty. I told y'all a long time ago that Evelyn was missing Jen and that the way that for her to express it was through anger. Like, she finally admitted. I read that the other day. Was that yesterday? Whatever. I get my blog days mixed up. But I read that the other day that she was, uh, was saying, like, that, you know, she just kind of wished things didn't happen that way or whatever. And, like, 
you know, the friend code was broken big time on both of their ends. But I see that they took a lie detector test. So this is going to be interesting to see who said what, when, when, and how. Because what I'm really concerned about and curious is who really wrote that blog that started all the shit's in in the first place. Okay. So this is going to be real messy, but I know I'm not the only one thinking it. I need to adjust myself and see. Am I the only one that thinks, and I probably already said this, I'm not even sure, but am I the only one that thinks that Naya and um, Jen are going through a messy breakup and it's just public and so they have to act like they're not friends anymore and all this stuff? Am I the only one that thought that? Oh, okay, because I'm serious. Like, I've seen relationships like this and I'm looking at how they acting and I'm like, they show sure acting like they going through a little Lebanese breakup, girl. You used to live in my house. Girl, you ain't nothing. Girl, you ain't nothing without me. Girl, get my keys back. Like, it just really seemed like it was some Lebanese things going on. And I'm wondering if that's going to come out. If that's the tea. Because they were saying that she used to go out with her and all that. And, oh, Tammy, girl, Tammy, you nailed it on the girl on the knee bone and the elbow bone. Girl, when you was like... Um, Jen, like you contradicting because how you gonna sue this girl because she knocked the shiznit out of you? But your freaking ex husband, that freaking bubblegum lips, gonna sit up there and that freaking throw a drink on you like a biatch ass <laughs> Negro. And then he hits you with a glass that he hits you with an object, meaning that is a weapon. And yet, you didn't do nothing to him. You're just trying to get his money, yet this girl slapped you. You saw her coming. What you thought she was going over there, go sit over there next to you and watch Good Times? Y'all was going to kiss and make up? She said, I'm on my way. Like, you saw her walk around the table. It wasn't like she jumped over. Boom, y'all got slapped. Like, you saw this girl. Where's she going? And I'm going to look straight ahead. No, you never take your eyes off the prize. But you going to sue one and not the other like that. It's so contradicted. And I'm so happy that it came out that you can't try to be an advocate now that you're not a bully and you being bullied or whatever like i so agree with that like because jen you wrong like i lost so much respect for her when she was like i mean well eric was my husband what so are you condoning basically you're going to be an advocate for bullying but you're going to be an advocate for women getting their butt whooped by their men because right now i have absolutely zero to negative eight uh point two five eight eight respect for you none absolutely none because that just made you look dumb but john again was messy he was like i mean you didn't see her coming to knock your contacts in the back of your head oh see messy betty but it was funny i'm not gonna lie i like screamed a little bit and i laughed it was funny and jen came out with cops and stuff too because she was not playing that guy so what he gonna do with his big old belly but he was like i got a badge and i got a gun you can do a lot with a gun i ain't gonna lie was I the only one that was thinking that it was staged when um, John asked um, Jen, like, if she feels, you know, how does she feel about, you know, her and the girls, like, basically, you know, they're kind of not as close. Like, how does she feel? And she's like, it is what it is. And then they pan to the audience, and the audience, like, on cue was like, oh, and I was like, really? Like, was it that, like, dramatic for them to do that? So I was like, did you guys ask them to make all these motions and you guys just kind of edited that in? I don't know. But if that's what happened, like, that was really bad editing. I'm just going to go and put it out there. Boo. I was watching Tammy face, and I think that when anger management, they're teaching Tammy that when she's super pissed, that she should just smile. And Tammy was just smiling so hard at Jen, and she was just kind of like, but I can read in her eyes. And she was like, you are so fake. You just need to get punched in your I, I don't like you. I want to take them Chanel pearls and wrap it around your neck and choke you with your Louis Vuitton shoe and that little freaking all-in-one red suit you got. I want to just take you and just swing you around this audience or whatever and let you land wherever you are and like let somebody beat you like a pinata. I feel like that's what her eyes were saying. Maybe I read them wrong. That's what I saw. But I was actually, like, really tripping because Tammy was really talking with some sense. Like, I was, like, looking down, but I was listening. I had to look up, like, a couple triple. <laughs> Tammy, girl, them classes are doing good, girl. You need to be an advocate for that, girl, because, baby, her aunt, but Evelyn, too. Evelyn was very calm, but you can tell Evelyn is hurt, but <sighs> this is a mess, a bad mess. Did y'all feel that Jen's apology to Evelyn was sincere? And to the girls, I felt like it was just like, let me get this out the way. You know what? If I did something that offended any of y'all, I'm sorry. There. Like, it was almost like somebody had paid her $7 to say it. Like, you might as well keep it. Like, I don't really need it. If that's how you apologize, it's stupid. I definitely agree with John when he was saying that this drama was probably happening without the cameras. But let's be real. 
everybody knows that's watching that when you having drama with a friend, your boo, your family members or whatever, keep other people out your drama because what's going to happen? The minute you have somebody in your ear, cameras in your face, all that pressure and all that anxiety makes the situation just 80 times worse to where you like, what? Say what? And you're not going to let somebody make you look dumb because even if the same person will say, you know what, I thought that you was wrong. But if they say that in front of people, what, but what you mean you thought I was wrong? It's just escalates the situation so i do agree that this probably the relationship was probably deteriorating anyway but let's just keep it real i mean if jen was never famous to be talking to blogs to be talking about ocho cinco de mayo for you know them to be on the show to sit up there and have opinions for them to pan to tammy for tammy to be talking about it for you know all these people to talk about it for, you know it was just too much like it definitely helped the situation or made the situation worse to where these two women was pretty much like I don't have nothing to do with you. Like, seriously. Like, serious face. And it sucks. It sucks. Like, it's sad, you know, to see friends. Because although they was, like, the mean girls pack or whatever, it was just sad to see that, like, these two people that was just so close. I mean, she holding her while she's crying over Eric and all this stuff. Like, from them to go from that to, like, I have to do this in order for you to be in the room. Like, I'm just so livid with your face. Just your energy. I just it sickens me like that's sad because I think about my best friends and I'm like I don't ever see myself being like that with them you know but they always say people in your life for reason season or lifetime you know and I guess they little friendship just ran its course y'all think they gonna be friends again I think it might happen I don't know like I feel like it just might happen I don't know especially since Evelyn is starting to speak out if Jen would just soften her heart a little bit it could happen but I don't know because after watching this uh the little previews for next uh next Next week, the finale. Oh, I don't know. I think Jenny lied about some stuff. It's on. John, you know you messy when you said that her divorce been going on for the last three seasons. You wrong and you messy for that. But that was funny as hell. That was a good one. I almost had to write that one down for my comedy set. Mm. I also thought it was funny that he kept telling Royce, don't cry now, don't cry. Royce do be crying. She cried everything. She be like, no stuff. It, no stuff. When she was crying with her daddy, though, now I will say that. She was like, daddy, no. I'm just, I was like, God. Damn, you're an ugly cry. Like, I thought I was an ugly cry. Oh, my God, Royce is an ugly cry. But, you guys, I am so back. Like, I, I really, really, really did have a lot going on. I'm telling y'all, for real. Like, I, I had a comedy show out here. It was my first time actually hosting in L.A. Was so excited. I did that at the J-Spot, J. Anthony Brown's Club. It was amazing. Had a great turnout. Awesome. So, it's just, it's been a lot that's been going on in my life. You know, um, for some of you guys that's on Facebook, y'all know that, Actually, my grandpa, he was put to rest yesterday. So, you know, I just, I've had, you know, I had to just kind of, sometimes, you know, a lot of people, I know y'all know that we're human and we do the YouTube videos, but, you know, sometimes we just got to take a second for ourselves. And, you know, for that, like my grandfather, he lived a great life. He was 90 years old, you know, but it was still sad, you know, like this is somebody that's been in my life, you know, all my life. So, you know, it's just still, it was still hard to, you know, say goodbye and especially, mm, you ain't gonna make me cry on camera. It ain't happening. But especially since I just saw my grandfather when I was home in Houston. And it was crazy because something had me going and saying, hey, hi to him. You know, and he was just kind of laying there. Hey, hey. You know, but it's just kind of weird how God kind of pushes you, you know, to stuff. So I'm really happy that I did have that opportunity to, you know, see my grandfather, you know, alive one last time before, you know, he went to join my aunt. So... Yeah, so anyway, but, you know, everything, you know, that's part of life. Things happen, you know, whatever. So I am back. Love y'all. I'm about to start back working out. I need it. Y'all know my life. I've been eating like hell in Houston and out here everywhere. So, yeah, stuff has happened. But, you know what, follow me. You know, I'm on Twitter. I tweet sometimes, not really often, but I'm on there. I'm Trinity Comedy. I'm on Instagram, Trinity Comedy. I'm on Facebook, Trinity Newman. Where else am I on? I think I'm on something else. There's so many social networks. I'm on Pinterest. I don't even know my name on Pinterest. I think I'm Trinity Newman on there too. I got a, what is that other thing you got? A Tumblr? I got one of them too. I'm Trinity on there too. Trinity Newman, I guess. I sometimes forget my names and stuff. I'm on Scramble. I'm on Words with Friends. There's too many things. I mean, people say, what's your name? I'm like, I don't know too. I don't even know my names no more. But anyway, this video, as always, is long enough. Suck my lovers. I miss y'all so much, but I'm back. So thank y'all so much for being loyal viewers. Thank y'all for all that checked up on me. I'm okay. Everything is fine. I ain't go to the upper room. I'm here. Time for me to go eat some tacos before I start working out. You don't know my life. Don't judge me. And I'm out. Just see a bottle come across my head. It's time for a new show.